Lymphoma Coalition develops a lot of resources for, for capacity building for our patient organizations. Uh, we published last year what was an update or a, of a previous report on CAR-T where we were bringing all these topics, I mean, not only to explain very well what the therapy is about, the different indications where the therapy is, is being approved or it's working well in, uh, currently, and also the trials, how the science is changing, because as we have learned in, in these days, uh, it's already moving ahead. I mean, we are talking about bringing to uh, previous lines of treatments and to other diseases as multiple myeloma and other things. In the context of lymphoma, uh, uh, we are doing at Lymphoma Coalition a lot of efforts to understand also how uh, the information that you uh, offer timely to a patient can even modify or impact their outcomes. For example, last year at ASH we published and presented a, an abstract, a correlationship between the outcomes and the informed. There is a good, a nice report published before uh, better informed uh, patients have better outcomes. And as part of our global patient survey that we uh, launch every two years and we update that information, we were collecting to know more how this, uh, what information works well, what patients expect uh, to receive as information, even whom from whom they want to receive the information. And they want to receive the information for their doctors, from their healthcare providers, and also from nurses, and also from patient organizations. Uh, but we shouldn't deny that they, uh, they can come also to, to websites and to Google to try to understand. So it's, it's our duty, it's our responsibility to bring available, useful resources reliable resources based on the evidence and even to build evidence to know how that information will impact the patient outcomes and the patient confidence which at the end is the basis of the relationship of doctors and, and, and patients.